biggest takeaway from this event, I um, guess it's my fourth event with them. Biggest takeaway is they brought in some other speakers that, you know, they their mindset is in the billions instead of hundreds of millions or millions. Um, and they think differently and they talk differently. The ideas are the same, they just do it on scale. Um, so I, I'm, I'm very familiar with most of the ideas that, they, that AP teaches here. Um, but it's, I keep coming to the live events because you know, it's that one or two speakers that really change the way you think about things. Um, and also, you know, seeing them in person, it makes it real, their story. Um, it makes it not more believable, but it's, uh, like I said, it makes it real and it makes, brings you closer to proximity and it kind of puts in your head that, you know, why can't I do this type stuff. So um, it's the mindset shifts and just hearing the, the other stories, that's kind of the biggest takeaways um, from this event. Um, if it's something that you want to do as a business owner, you, there's not a better place to learn it than here. Um, you're going to hear that from everybody that says it because it's true. Um, it's cliche that you know the best investment is in yourself, but that is also true. And um, you know, I pretty much I went all in on the acquisition Panera guys, um, gave them pretty much everything I had, and it, uh, they have totally flipped my life around, changed it completely. Wait for the better. Um, from a personal side and income side, business side, uh, I've learned more about myself in the last 60 to 90 days um, in all aspects of life than, um, than I have the prior 30 some odd years. So um, life changing and pull the trigger. It's quite the investment, but it's worth it. So the quality of the people in the room is, um, I mean, it's exactly, exactly what you think. They're, everybody here is top tier, overachievers. Hard, hard workers, um, but also at the same time, laid back, willing to help you. Nobody's above another person here. Um, we all have the same mindset and similar goals, trying to get to where we're going. Um, I've met, you know, this, like I said, this is my fourth or fifth event. Um, so I've met multiple, like tens of people that I've kept up with. Um, there's, there's a few that I've actually done deals with. So and it's I've met them all here at these events and like I said those it's those it's the one relationship away thing. Um, it, you talk to one person over lunch and the next thing you know, two weeks from now y'all are structuring a deal together and then pulling the trigger on things. Um, and that's the thing is you find out who's the action takers and who's not. There's there's action takers and non action takers in every group, um, but the action takers are the guys that y'all that you keep up with, uh, guys and girls that um, really, you know, you raise each other to the next level. How would it help build generational wealth? Well, that is the ultimate goal. And so I come from the background of a W-2 employee. Um, I was making 90 grand a year as a business analyst. Uh, I knew I could do that for the next 20, 30 years and maybe top out at 150, 200K a year at some high level executive or high management job. Um, it was gonna take 15 or 20 years to do that. And at the same time, I'd be making, you know, 100 grand a year doing that. That wasn't going to get me where I wanted to be. That wouldn't allow me to build generational wealth. Also, I was doing it as a W-2 employee, so I'm the highest tax rate. As when you learn other tax strategies as a business owner, you know you you pay your business expenses first, and then you pay your taxes. Which that's the greatest destruction of wealth is paying taxes and learning how to uh, do tax strategies to keep more of your money that you've earned. Um, that's where the real wealth starts to begin, and that's where you can get into talks of generational wealth. So I'm still in the early stages, and but I know it's just the beginning, and it's just going to snowball from here. And I wouldn't have been able to do that if I was still in a prior life of as an employee. So these guys have, you know, taught me and shown me the way to as a business ownership entrepreneur, uh, business acquisitions. Um, there's plenty of strategies out there to build generational wealth. So that's the way. So I actually am partnered on a deal with Kyle and Michael currently. Um, so I have pretty close proximity with them right now, but they are, I kind of let uh, the other people get closer proximity to them, but they are always available. You know, I can send them texts anytime or just walk up to them. Um, and yeah, they'll answer any questions I have. The, that's the other thing about some of these events you go to, you, you try to send you know, a text message or a DM to to the expert um, or the guru of it, and you don't e you either don't hear back or you know you hear back several days later when the question is probably no more relevant, you know. But with the Kyle and Michael, um, 
you, you know, you send them a text message or something and it might take them an hour or two, but they always get back to me. Um, and then and it's always gold, the information they give me. You know, it's exactly what I want to hear. They don't, they don't kind of, you know, mess around and give you, you know, you could do this, you could do that. They say, this is probably what you need to do. And then, and then you just go execute on it. Um, so yeah, I mean, they're, they have been invaluable information sources for me and great friends and business partners um, that care about me and care about their students and, and the people you know that they work with. So um, yes, they, the access is there. They have literally taken me under their wing and like I said, changed my life completely. So how do I put a value on that? Um, I don't know, check back in 20 years and we'll see um, what that has equated to um, because I owe it pretty much all to them and what they've taught me. Um, I'm just putting in the work, putting in the hours and making sure I do exactly what they say. And um, it hasn't led me astray and it's, we're on a great path to, to uh, generating generational, generational wealth and becoming wealthy independently. Invaluable, I mean, it's, it sounds cliche, but it's true, so. And always invest in yourself. You can't put a price on that either. Looking back on what I would have done differently after, because I've been to a couple events, um, I would have gone and started um, creating those relationships with the banks um, ahead of time. If you're looking to raise money, go ahead and go talk to the bankers and figure out um, what they're about and let them learn who, who you are um, so that you can go ahead and get those talks going. And then, um, that, I mean, that, and that's something anybody can do. It doesn't cost you any money to go say hey to the bankers and start that relationship because when it comes to getting money from them, um, they want to give you money, and, but they also want to know who you are. So go ahead and start those relationships. That's something you can do tomorrow. So that's very actionable.